My life was pretty good. I had a beautiful family. I had my dream job teaching ceramics and sculpture at Murray High School. I had faith in God. But then things changed. Stress piled upon stress. Stress at work, marriage, and especially the rapidly declining health of my father. My faith was shaken. I began noticing some changes with my body. First I noticed I was getting dizzy doing simple things. But the real concern happened when I woke up one morning and my feet were numb. Like they were falling asleep. Then the next morning I was numb up to my belly button. Fear and uncertainty set in. That's when my family practice doctor ordered the MRI. Things continued to get worse. Then two days after my father's funeral, my doctor called me with the MRI results. He said, your MRI shows lesions on the brain consistent with someone that has multiple sclerosis. What was I supposed to do with that information? I mean, I knew people with MS in wheelchairs. What about my family, my kids, uh, my job? When would I be in a wheelchair? Naturally, I began my research. My research revealed that MS is an autoimmune disease where the immune system attacks the central nervous system. There are over 400,000 people in the United States with the disease, and it is more common in women. So that made me feel manly. It is degenerative, which means it only gets worse. It is treatable so the degenerative process can be slowed, but there is no cure. I found the best neurologist in the state of Utah, a world-renowned leader in the research of MS, Dr. John Foley. He helped me understand the disease in simple terms. He explained that our nerves have a protective coating around them called a myelin sheath. Like an electrical cord that has insulation around it, the myelin sheath helps electrical impulses travel to and from the brain. With MS, the immune system attacks the myelin sheath, causing nerve damage and weakening the signals to and from the brain. That's when it hit me. Like an electrical cord. Yes, the perfect metaphor. As an artist, I knew exactly what I had to do. I had made large sculptures of heads in the past, inspired by ancient cycladic art, but now I knew what to do with them. The heads were the perfect vehicle to express my feelings with this new disease. I went to work building more sculptures. I made large coil-built heads out of stoneware clay. I simplified their features like the ancient cycladic heads without eyes. They felt calming and meditative. Once they were fired, I added damaged and frayed electrical cords as a metaphor to express my damaged nerves. I showed my work to a gallery in Salt Lake City. They liked it and agreed to have an exhibit. As the exhibit was coming together and I started sharing my work, that's when I noticed the impact this was having on others. One nurse, when administering my monthly medicine infusion, she saw the images and she was moved. She said, this is it. This is exactly what it feels like. I try to explain this to others and they just can't get it. She was getting emotional. Then the exhibit. Wow. <laughs> the support was incredible. The reaction from people that had MS was humbling. They understood. They talked to me about their personal experience with MS. They cried as they shared. Each sculpture and ceramic ware in the show spoke to different people in different ways. It was actually helping others. And that's how I became content with the cards I was dealt. Now, I eat healthy, live healthy, and contribute to research through my artwork sales so that someday we can find a cure for this disease. And that's why neuroscience is essential.